All right, Nation, we got a very cool video for you here today. Caught this upgrade in the act. And uh, there's a lot of stuff there to discuss, um, tons of it, actually. All right, so I've been to this site before. I've actually tested it. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, you'll see a T-Mobile site, actually. Uh, let's see if we can get some motion in here for you guys. All right, so you got the uh, lower frequencies there in the larger antenna panel. And then you've got the N41 to the left of it there. All right, anyways. So they're on their own site. And then here's where the action is. You got AT&T at the very top putting up C-band. All right, right there, if you guys can see that smaller uh, antenna. And then all their other stuff is up on the top. And they're up there doing work. And look what they did. America. They put up the flag while they're doing their upgrade. We'll see if they keep it up there. I don't know if they will. But anyways, that's awesome. Okay. We're not done. In this rack here, the second from the top, those are JMA panels. That's a dish. I haven't been able to catch it all because a lot of these upgrades are happening literally while I'm at work. Dish is mostly done with Cleveland. They have gone up and upgraded pretty much every major macro that every carrier is on. Now, they don't have the small cells. Oh, look, I just noticed that he's under here. Okay. <laughs> you can see his feet dangling. Uh, anyways, they have not done any small cells. They are not on every single macro, <clears throat> excuse me, but they are on every major macro like this. All these monopoles where they put up all the multi-carriers and they co-locate. Dish is done. Everything is up. Here's the Verizon site that I've tested. You guys have watched those videos. There's the C-band there, all right, the N77. So you got Verizon upgrading N77, right, the C-band. You've got JMA gear here for Dish. All right, with their Fujitsu radios and such. All right, they're they're done. Now at and is doing the N77 C-band too. My only question is, I don't know who's making this gear. I think it's Nokia, I think, because at and is a Nokia market. And it doesn't look exactly like the Samsung gear here for Verizon. The Samsung gear for Verizon is a little bit taller. It looks more like rectangular, if you guys can see it there. And, um, you know. There and then there's CBRS there to the left, by the way. Um, but here is ATT's version of it. So I know a lot of people are tripping. ATT hasn't been doing C band, but actually they are, at least in my market, they are. We'll see when those other, you know, combo radios come out. We'll see how that looks and, and how it performs. What do you guys think of the site? What do you guys think of the, the gear that's going up there from the carriers? Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. I know a lot of people have doubts about Dish, but they're done in Cleveland. It's going live in June. I'll be excited to test it for you guys. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people. The SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification. Never, never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page and email and Twitter. That's it. We out this piece. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.